quite excited about tonight. I, you know, being a wasp from Texas and Orange County, California, the idea is that you never allow for honors or awards. It's all too embarrassing. But as I drove over here, I thought, well, I've been in show business for 35 years, and then it's a little symbolic that maybe I accomplished something. Steve Martin has a unique gift, and that's a gift in which he, he's almost like a vaudevillian on the screen. He can dance, he can sing, he can play the banjo actually extraordinarily well. He also writes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Museum of the Moving Image salutes Steve Martin. From a very young age, I, I didn't know comedy. I knew I wanted to be in show business. And I didn't have any other talents. I had no talents. I couldn't sing. I couldn't dance. I, all I had was a magic act. And so I, I got up on stage and started doing my magic act. And then I, I realized, oh, they really like it when the tricks don't work. Now, I do not know the exact nature of the illness that has prompted this award. <laughs> But I do know this, Steve, if you need a kidney <laughs> or anything that people have two of, <laughs> I will be first in line to find someone willing to give you one. I think what makes his comedy work as remarkably as it does is that he is just so bright, so intelligent. and. There is nothing funnier than a person who is extremely smart being stupid because you know it has to be on purpose. The new phone book there! The new phone book here! I, I change naturally, but I, I've always been a writer. I started as a writer writing for television for the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour when I was 21 years old. I always wrote teleplays or sketches or my act, and then I started writing screenplays, and I never wrote prose. Uh, until really about uh, 10 years ago. And then I started writing, I wrote a play, and then I started trying my hand at uh, essays in The New Yorker. It was really thrilling. Let's say I got more response off one New Yorker piece than I would off entire movies. We're back. Okay, we're back. The American Museum of the, the Moving Image is saluting, saluting. Steve Martin. He's funny in a pure kind of kick-ass way. I mean, physically, cerebral. He can do anything. Magic. I haven't seen him ice skate, but I'm sure he's good at that. I was in college. I was, I had written some little quirky one paragraph stories. And coincidentally, this would have been 1967 when it was, you never trust anyone over 30. So they were looking for writers under 30. And I assembled these little pathetic things I'd written and my ex-girlfriend was dating the head writer of the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and we were friendly and she gave him my material and they hired me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steve Martin. It was like going from grade school to a professional obligation. I didn't know how scared I was, but we, you know, we survived, but it was also fun. It was, that, it was that thing where you're so gung-ho and enthusiastic for what you're doing and you're working till three and four in the morning and getting up at eight to go back to work and feeling like you were in the hippest spot on earth. Well, that was me thinking I was supposed to be a television writer. It was fun working on the show, a lot of fun, but it wasn't my destiny, so I, I left that. He was the first kind of, you know, postmodern comedian. He took the act of stand-up comedy and deconstructed it. He sort of made fun of the conventions of stand-up comedy while being hysterically funny. The white suit? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was worth talking about. <laughs> um, I, I wanted, I, around 1972, I sensed the end of an era. And the end of that era was, you know, the love generation, the political generation, every stand-up comedian was political. And, and I knew that what I was doing had potential, that it was just plain silly. And, and I was talking to someone else, it was like a reaction against smart. <laughs> and, um, and I wanted something that would distinguish myself on stage, so I went out and I bought a white suit. It was extremely daring at the time. Now it seems like nothing, but... Mm -hmm. 
It was daring for me, anyway. Artist of the Week is a regular feature on Arts and Minds, seen Saturdays at 6 and Sundays at 7 Eastern.